It's Claire Tansy is here. Come on in here, baby. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Hello. We've got like the pink palette going on, I know. which is I, nice. I was just thinking how beautiful you look in pink. Oh, so do you. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, yeah. that's it. End of the show. Great. Enough, Good night, en everyone. Enough of this. Enough of that. So let's talk about the main ingredient that we're going to be working with right now, okay? You it's may an ingredient it. maybe some of you might know it. It's called kale. It's called kale. Kale has had a moment for a while now. Yeah, and then it went away and it was replaced by its ugly stepsister. That's cauliflower. right. Cauliflower. That's right. Yes. And then cauliflower got all fancy with herself. Yeah, and now she's $9 a head. That's right. So guess what? We're going back, back to you. Kale is the new kale. She's hot. Yeah. Yeah. We yes, like her. Yes, kale is the new kale. So we're going to do a lovely, oh, it also makes a wonderful pointing stick. <laughs> um, we're going to do a gorgeous kale bean uh, uh, pasta sausage soup. You said pasta. I know. I'm into it. I know, right? I like it's it. It's comfort food, but it's healthy comfort yeah, food. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then we're going to make a little kale smoothie. Very nice. So that gets your morning started off right because you're it getting does. all sorts of amazing nutrients it does. in there, right? And I have right? a secret about my kale that I'm, you have to stay tuned. To okay. Find out about. All right. So, okay, so kale and sausage, really magical combination in terms of flavor. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to, I started by taking my sausages out of their little, um, casings. out of their little casings. Yeah. Which I didn't really feel like doing on camera. So no, because it's gross. It's kind of, it's you know, I mean, you've got to get it done, you but it doesn't it look cute. It doesn't, and if you have a child in the house who likes, like, squeezing yeah. things, get them to do it. Yeah. Because, and just wash their hands. Um, and then that goes in. Now, officially, you're supposed to take the sausage out before you add the vegetables, but... Right. I just, I just can't, just you know, I just together. can't even. So a little bit of carrot, onion, celery in there, as yeah. I like to call them, the very hearty overwinterers. Yes, overwinterers. they are. And they're the combination you use for the base of, you know, so many things. Exactly. Tracy, put the beans down. Do it? No, put the okay, beans down, Tracy. Right. What? Just, what the heck? You're getting I a little like ahead of yourself. I like you wanted beans in there right now. So once that cooks and the, the vegetables get a little bit soft, then yeah. we're going to add some broth and some water. Well, am I allowed to do that part? Yes, you are, my okay. darling. You tell me when to stop, Did, okay? Chuck the whole thing in. You okay, know what I'm like? Then. If I'm opening something, I just want to use the whole affair. You're really big on that. I know. It Even when the recipe totally doesn't call for this much. I, I add the entire thing. <laughs> Whether it's chicken broth or tomato paste or, or a bottle of wine. We're doing it's it. It's not going back in the fridge. <laughs> it is not going back in the fridge. That's fine. Uh, so thank you very much. So this okay. gen then just simmers away for a little while. Yeah. And now uh, I'm just going to add, I feel like this is too easy. I feel like I should do something more. Well, that's a, that's a good thing. I know it is. We're right. making it tonight for dinner. It is. Half a can of beans. Mm -hmm. Why only half a can, Claire? I thought you just said you liked adding use the whole, the whole can. can. Well, you can use the other half uh, can of beans in a dip, or you can throw them in oh, a salad. Smart. But the thing is that we all know about sodium and health and how you yeah. should you're not be having too much sodium in your life. Right. And one of the secret places where sodium hides is in canned goods. Absolutely. So canned beans and also this you guy. Did, and you did low. I did, I mean, always, you did we low. We always do low, always do low. But sausages and canned beans and uh, broth, broth all have sodium. So when you're putting the three together, you got to sometimes just hold back on one okay. or two. Okay, fair enough. So instead of using half the broth, because then the other broth would just go to waste in my fridge, mm -hmm. I use half the beans because I know that I can use the beans in my salad for lunch tomorrow. Or for your salad. Now then I want, look at these little cutie little pastas. They're adorable. So they're almost, they're like mini bow ties. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. Any short pasta. Yeah, they look like mini bow ties. These make good arts and crafts projects. But today we're going to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> so you only have to use half the box because the other half is going to go on your Christmas there ornaments you go. for next year. <laughs> so that goes in. And then this little bit of tomato paste, uh, I would, of course, use the whole can yep. um, because that's the way I am with tomato paste. And that goes in and that just gives a nice little bit of richness. Mm -hmm. And honestly, this just cooks together and then the kale goes in. I was going to say, we're forgetting something. We're forgetting somebody important. There's a big green elephant in the room. You put them in at the end, though. Huh? I do, but I do like to, once it's fully boiling, I'd mm -hmm. add the kale and then let it cook for quite a while because kale is tough. You have to remember yeah. that kale is not like spinach. It's more like cabbage than it is like spinach. Yeah. Spinach you can eat raw. Kale, yes, you can eat raw, but you gotta chop it finely, you gotta massage it. So when you're yeah. putting it in a soup, I don't want it to be chewy. I want it to be fully cooked. Got it. It's actually a benefit because I can do this and then the next day, it's not gonna be all slimy and gross. Yeah, that's true. Because it really stands up. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So that's gonna simmer down. So we down. got the soup. soup. It's done. And then it's your whole meal in a bowl. Nice, I with like some bread. Or spread on the side. Why not? Now, but then meanwhile, because you bought that ginormous head of kale. Yes. You still got some left over, so you wanna have some for breakfast. Do you have like special ways of getting the kale off the stalk? Is there any, do you no, have anything? No, I mean, I shall, I'll show you exactly what I do. Um, yeah. If I'll just move these back over there. Thank you, miss. Mm -hmm. I just take my little knife or my big knife and I lean my uh, kale down like like yo. Yeah. And then I just cut the 
stock out. Okay. Like, All right. You know, it's not fancy because you and there you can find these devices where you can strip this off, but I don't actually find that's any faster. Right. Now here's my secret. Okay. okay, you know how my big food resolution for 2016 is less waste? That's right. Okay, guys, chop these up. Okay, that's the, that was the I was just putting my finger on the sharp side of the knife. Don't do that. <laughs> that's a Tracy wow, Moore move right is, there. That is cooking 101. <laughs> then you chuck these in a plastic bag and put them in the freezer. Okay. Now they have to be frozen because when they freeze, um, ice crystals form in them and it breaks down the shell cell structure, cell structure, yeah. and you can put them in a smoothie. Oh, and they disappear. And they're like sort of having like the frozen fruit in your exactly. smoothie. They give it that texture. And then you don't throw out your kale stems. Good for you. It's pretty exciting. Waste not, want not. I know, right? Okay, so we're going to chuck in some kale. We're going to okay. imagine that I have frozen it. You can't really do it unless mm, you so freeze good. them. The freezing okay. is the important part. All right. Uh, the other great thing, of course, a frozen banana. Bananas. If you ever see discount bananas, like the big bag, buy them, chuck them in the freezer. Great Absolutely. way to save money. Big, beautiful, huge lump of peanut butter. That yeah. makes everything better. It does. Really, oh, I love really so butter. good. I know you can't send it to school, but my goodness. If oh, you can eat the peanuts. I just had a thought here. There That's we go. That's a great idea. It's a handkerchief. <laughs> it's a miracle. A uh, little bit of AJ, apple juice. Okay. Um, but so you're putting oil in there. I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> This went from like delicious to weird. Smoothie. No, the thing is with kale, you gotta have some sweetness in there. Because, yes, you do. Oh my goodness. And then you just blitz the heck out of this and it and becomes you this that. beautiful smoothie. And that cute little uh, container, I like that. I know. And then you're getting kale. It is good. I like that your recipes, they always are full of flavor, uh, but really good for you. And fast. And really, really fast. Yeah.